What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. Today, I don't really know how to approach this one. It's something that I came across a nice little Twitter video, credit to V Nicholas over on Twitter. He's the one that I saw this from and I figured, no way this is real, no way this is actually happening. So I decided to jump into a game on throwback with my good friend Hollow Point and we did this exactly the same way as the Twitter video goes and well, what you'll see is that this needs fixed immediately in Infinite Warfare. This is something that I'm not too negative of a person, I'm not too much of the person that looks for every single flaw, but this is something that definitely does hinder the ability to play on this map throwback. So as you'll see by the gameplay, from my perspective, the right hand side, or if you're on the other side, the left hand side, but the red train cars have absolutely no damage reduction properties to them at all. You can shoot right through them here and there is absolutely nothing that stops the damage at all, no drop off, no nothing like that. The Volk doesn't have an FMJ attachment either, so this is something that it's literally just the base damage and it still kills through the entire train car at the standard rate. Hollow Point now we're going back and forth as dummies for each other here with this, and you'll see in the clips that it absolutely takes zero time to kill still, it is exactly the same. Now, the problem that I have here with this is not the fact that it is just a simple object that can be shot through, but the problems that arise in my mind here with this are one, it's not consistent. The second side of train cars, that being the blue sides of train cars, have absolutely no ability to shoot through them. You shoot through it, the glass just stops the bullets and it's like a solid surface say like a brick wall or something like that anywhere else in the map but with the red cars you can shoot through it with absolutely no problem extreme ease and it's just not consistent i feel like this is something that definitely hinders that ability to have consistency on the map and it takes away from some of the playing experience but the thing that i don't like the most though is the fact you cannot see so if you know somebody is around that corner or if you know there's a large group of people coming through say the corridor that leads to the middle of the map that is something you can spray through it they won't have a single clue that it's coming they don't know where you're at if you have any general sense of idea where they are well then of course that helps you out but you also were technically blind firing as well but combine that in with the fact that you can't do it everywhere in the map and sometimes it'll take away from some very important plays that happen that I just am not a big fan of and I feel like it isn't the best for gameplay. Now, my biggest personal concern when I first saw this, I hadn't played Search and Destroy on throwback ever, so my biggest concern was the fact that there was probably gonna be a bomb site, because I knew there was one on the other side of the map, but I knew there was one in that general vicinity, but I didn't know exactly where the location was, so in my mind, if it was right in that mid spot where B flag was, you could literally take out somebody defusing the bomb without actually even having to ever pop your face out. So that to me was a big concern. Luckily, it's not actually a location. The bomb is underneath the bridge that overlooks this, but it is something that still can get a little bit all across the board annoying at times because you could be going for that deatomizer, get sprayed by somebody through it, or you could be in a clutch situation at COD Champs and it could come out and bite you in the butt. So. I don't know exactly how to feel about this. Leave your thoughts down there in the comments. I think that this definitely needs fixed, and at least there should be some consistency here with this map and this sort of thing. But if it is something that was planned, maybe I'm entirely wrong. Maybe this is supposed to be in there. I don't know, but leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you think of this? Do you think it should be changed? Do you think it shouldn't? Whatever it is, I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys like the video, it is something that it pushes it out even more so that more people can get awareness to this and maybe it can get fixed at some point in time. Hopefully soon. That's just my thoughts on it here. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare and of course, Modern Warfare Remastered. We've got a cool little video here going live, hopefully tonight. For Modern Warfare Master, I think you guys will enjoy, so stick around for that. Modern Warfare Espresso, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and peace.